Hello everyone, my name is James and welcome to my first video looking at the MMO Worlds Adrift. These videos are being made especially for the Elbert County League of Gamers to help them decide if they want to try it out. This video will look at character creation and maybe a little bit of the in-game lore. And I will apologize now, I do have a bit of a cold. So, join game. <laughs> so, World Adrift has split its servers into a PvP server and a PvE server. This was a recent change made with update 27. PvP is basically, you can attack other players at any time, and PvE has PvP limited to the later game stages which are beyond the sand wall. Okay, we'll hit play. I'll look at the island creator at a later video. Okay, and this is Calamus, who will be also joining for a later video. So to start, we'll go to create character. Now in Worlds Adrift, you can have up to three characters per account. Create character. Okay, so first thing, let's let's come up with a name. Uh, there's no random generation option, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we'll go with something simple. Now, unlike some games, this uh, Worlds of Drift does allow spaces between characters, so you can have a first name and last name if you prefer. Uh, we'll. Since it's just a test, we'll go with the Kubo PvE server. Uh, and we got the male and female option. We'll go with male. So, face options. There are five options at the moment. It should be noticed that World Adrift is in early access, so this option may expand somewhat. Yeah, we'll go with some scars. You got the face tone, which is fairly varied. Yeah, we'll go hasn't been outside in a year option. Let's see, the hair options. Now, I don't know what to think about that, but okay. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. I haven't seen this done in other games, but when you go to look around, you actually have the background moving along with you, which is kind of cool, I think. And you can see that the art style is kind of that cell shaded look, kind of similar to what you'd see in a game like Fortnite. So we got this hairstyle with a headband of some sort. Quite a few options. We'll go with the red and facial hair. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, we'll rock the stash this time. Now, markings is grayed out. I believe that's going to be brought in in a future update. I haven't seen any character creation videos where it's actually been highlighted, so that's yet to come. Okay, so you have four options for clothing. We'll go with kind of the more medieval style. And we'll keep primary color green. And secondary color. We'll go with white. That goes together. Next will be clothing legs. Again, a few different styles. Yeah, we'll go with the long leg with the ropes tied around at the bottom. Yeah. 
And yeah, white pants with the green thread. Okay. So that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to create a character. I guess you also have the randomize option if you just don't want to even bother with this. So we will save character. And yes, this cannot be changed at all at this point. Um, I believe they will have a server wipe before the actual release because this is in early access. But they just did the recent update, so whatever character you make now will last for a while. Now if my slow internet would hurry up. There we go. So, I will hit enter world and it should start up the lore video for when you first start. So let's try that. And if we are really lucky, my internet will actually allow us to go right into the game. This is a physics heavy game, so it is really easy for your computer just not to have the internet connection necessary to work. For that reason, most people in Australia just can't play the game, which is unfortunate and hopefully they'll have that worked out probably with local servers before the actual release. Eons ago, Foundation was a place of wonder. The people who called it home had rich advanced societies. They discovered a mineral with potent flotation properties, calling it Atlas. Soon they learned how to harness Atlas, and the skies were filled with masterfully crafted skyships, magnificent ports, opulent homes, and grand palaces. Their empires spanned all of foundation. Then, when their glory was at its peak, the world shattered. The reasons for this calamity have long been lost. Only ruins of foundations once great civilizations remain, strewn across the endless horizon. We are the descendants of these people. Our great cultures have faded and been forgotten. Over time, scattered crews have emerged, using now ancient technologies to build skyships to explore the fragments of the old world. Though the skies are filled with dangers and there are many who thrive on the chaos, it falls to us to create a new civilization amongst the clouds, to build a new foundation and a new era of prosperity. And there you have it, a little bit of lore for Worlds Adrift. Now, you might notice that voice. I believe it's the same one who did the voiceovers for Trine and Trine 2, but I haven't confirmed that. There's also pieces of in-game lore you can find, but I have no idea whether the Worlds of Drift will let me on today, so that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching.